In today's tutorial, we'll guide you through creating a seamless transition using the masking tool to enhance your video transitions. To start, find the part of the video where you want to apply the masking and place it above the other video. Now, position the timeline cursor on the frame where the transition will be halfway. Click on the top video, navigate to Opacity, turn off the opacity by clicking the FX icon and select the pen tool. Add points to mask the top video and click on the stopwatch next to the mask path. Move the timeline cursor to the frame where the transition begins. Click on the top video, click on the mask within opacity and adjust the points to follow the object you're masking. Move the timeline cursor to the frame where the transition ends. Click on the top video, click on the mask within opacity and shift the points to the other side of the screen. Review the mask animation frame by frame, ensuring it seamlessly follows the desired part. Turn on the opacity and review the mask animation one more time. Increase the mask feather until both videos blend seamlessly. Right-click on the top video, navigate to Show Clip Keyframes, Time Remapping, then Speed. Repeat the process for the bottom video. Finally, increase the speed of both clips to enhance the transition. Today, we will create a glitch effect. Duplicate your layer and head over to the Effects panel. Add the strobe light effect on the top layer. Adjust blend with original to 25% and change the strobe duration to 0.1. Go to the first frame, click on the stopwatch next to Random Strobe Probability, set the percentage to 0%, then go to the last frame, crank it up to 100% and switch strobe to makes layer transparent. Then shift the top layer three frames to the right. Go to the effects panel. Add the VR chromatic aberrations effect on the top layer. After that, go to the effects panel and add black and white effect on the top layer. In effect controls, make sure to place the black and white effect above the VR chromatic aberrations. Finally, adjust the scale to 105. Then click on the top layer and add a cross dissolve at the start of the top layer. How to easily create a camera handheld for any clip in Premiere Pro. Create a new composition and import any clip that has camera movement. Right click on that clip and click on Nest. Go to the Effects panel, then add the effect Warp Stabilizer on the nested clip. Go to Effect Controls, change the stabilization method to Position, Scale, Rotation, and check the box next to Preserve Scale. Finally, import your clip that you want to add the effect to and place it in the nested sequence, on top of the original clip. How to create a zoom in transition in Premiere Pro. Start by creating an adjustment layer. Make its length 12 frames, 6 frames on each side. Go to Effects Panel and add the effect Replicate. Adjust the count value to 3. Make a rectangular mask to cover the whole frame. Then go to the first frame. Click on the stopwatch next to Mask Opacity. Adjust its value to 0%. Right-click on the keyframe and click on Hold. Go to frame 6 and adjust the value to 100%. Go to the Effects panel and add the effect Mirror. Adjust the Reflection Center value to 1280 by 540. Adjust the Reflection to 0. Copy the mask used in the effect Replicate. Paste it in the Mirror effect. 
duplicate the effect mirror. Change the reflection center value to 1920 by 720. Change the reflection to 90. Duplicate the effect mirror. Change the reflection center value to 640 by 540. Change the reflection to 180. Duplicate the effect mirror. Change the reflection center value to 1920 by 360. Change the reflection to minus 90. Go to Effects panel. Add the effect Transform. Go to the first frame and click on the stopwatch next to Scale. Go to the last frame and adjust the value to 300. Right-click on both keyframes and click on Bezier. Uncheck the box next to Use Composition Shutter Angle. Adjust the shutter angle value to 250. How to create a glitch transition in Premiere Pro. Start by creating an adjustment layer. Make its length 12 frames, 6 frames on each side. Go to Effects panel. Add the effect Gaussian Blur on the adjustment layer. Adjust its blurriness to 12. Go to the Effects panel. Add the effect Magnify on the adjustment layer. Go to Frame 3. Click on the stopwatch next to Center and Magnification. Adjust the center values to 947 by 540. Adjust the magnification to 104. Go two frames forward. Adjust the center values to 566 by 540. Adjust the magnification to 158. Go one frame forward. Click on the stopwatch next to Opacity. Go one frame forward. Adjust the opacity value to 0%. Go two frames forward. Adjust the center values to 947 by 540. Adjust the magnification value to 104. Adjust the opacity value to 100%. Change the shape to square. Change the size value to 556. Change the blending mode to multiply. Repeat the previous step multiple times with different values to achieve different transition styles. How to reveal your text behind a moving object in Premiere Pro. Start by creating your text and add the effect Crop. Move to the frame where your object should be covering your text. Adjust the crop left or right to 100, depending on the object's direction. Click on the stopwatch next to the parameter. Go frame by frame and start reducing the crop value till you reach zero. Finally, adjust the feather value to make the animated mask smoother. Introducing Pixel Ready, a seamless extension designed for Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects, tailored to fuel your creative journey. A diverse array of creative assets, all curated for you. Pixel Ready also seamlessly syncs with Pexels, a platform for high-quality stock videos and photos. You can easily customize your database path and with a simple click, copy all the assets used in your project. Explore the seamless journey with Pixel Ready, your gateway to a world where imagination meets simplicity. Just create.